All right, this is first grade, module one, lesson 11. And in this lesson, we're continuing with addition, but now we have an, an unknown change. For example, we've got like right here, three plus what equals eight? And so we're still asking the students to be thinking about addition, not subtraction. Uh, but at this point, we have an unknown change that's going on. So the cool thing about this lesson is that we're still using these five group cards and I love the fact that Eureka Math has brought those in and doesn't drop them. It just continues to reintroduce these five group cards to our students. So the idea is we're going to look at this problem and we're going to find this missing value and we can use our five group cards right here to help us. So the idea is I like the phrase count on. The phrase is, so we're going to start with the 2, and then we're going to count on until we get to 7. So the idea is we can like punch our fist into the air and say 2, because that's what we should see here. So we say 2, and then we add on, we count on 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And so now that we've counted seven, we might have to backtrack and say, well, how many did we add in order to get to seven? So we had to have to count one, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is a five. So we would put in a five right here. All right, let's, uh, let's do this one way down here. So we've, we're starting with our nine is our answer. Uh, but then we've got a 7 here, so that's what this 7 card is, and that's where we're going to start with, and then we're going to count on, so let's do that, so we're going to count on, so we're going to punch the air with 7, and then we're going to say 8, 9, and then we're going to backtrack and say to ourselves, well, what did we just count here? So we're going to count 1, 2, oh, okay, so we added 2. And I'll put the two right there. So the idea is we want the students to count on. We definitely don't want them to start from zero every single time. So we want students to recognize that, oh, this is seven. And then we'll count on eight, nine. And that's how we got to nine. That was our goal. And since we added two dots, that goes right here. So teachers, on this one, uh, we've got a couple of scenarios right here, and then we have three numerical expressions down here, and the idea is let's connect the numerical expression with the story problem and then answer the question. And this really calls to mind for me as a teacher uh, opportunities to differentiate. What might I do? I might create a bunch of these kinds of um, story problems, and I might create a bunch of these, oh, maybe five or six of them up here, and five or six down here, I create, and then uh, ask the students to, working in pairs, or maybe working in triads, have them match, and you know, like a matching game. Match the story with the numerical expression, and then you can have a really wonderful class discussion. How did you know that a particular story matched a particular numerical expression? So that's a, a nice little way I might differentiate this. I might do it as a station as well. So let's talk about the, the, the problems themselves. So this says Scott has three cookies. His mom gives him some more. Now he has eight cookies. How many cookies did his mom give him? So we need to look down here and figure out, well, which one of these stories matches that? And in this case, this one does. Three cookies. Three cookies. His mom gives him some more. There's our question mark. Now he has eight cookies. There you go. In this case, now seems to be like a keyword that says equal. But teachers, you know, teaching keywords is not a, a real effective way to do it. We want to really just teach understanding. Oftentimes when we teach keywords, uh, it, it removes the students from the obligation of developing an actual understanding. So, um, so here's our expression. And so we can count on. So we're going to, oh, let's get this color. Okay, so we, I'm going to count on with three, and I'm going to count on to eight. So I'm going to punch the air with the number three. Three, and then four, 
five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to look back and say, well, how many did we just draw right here? Oh, that's five. So that means this answer had to be five. So Scott's mom gave him five cookies. And then over here, Kim sees six birds in the tree. Some more fly in. Kim sees nine birds in the tree. How many birds flew into the tree? All right, so which one of these is our matching number expression? And, of course, it's going to be uh, this one. And so we just move it right there. So now we have 6 plus what equals 9. And once again, we're going to punch the air. Uh, let's do it with uh, blue again. So we're going to punch the air with 6, with a fist. And then we're going to count up 7, 8, 9. And so looking back, how many did we add? How, how many dots did it take for us to get to 9? Oh, it took 3. So that means our missing value here was a 3. And so three birds flew into the tree, and that means this guy down here is an extra one. And teachers, that wraps up Grade 1, Module 1, Lesson 11, where we're now moving to a different kind of addition problem, where the change is unknown, but we do know the total, and we know one of the parts, and it's this part that is unknown.